it's about 11 o'clock in the morning and we want to be leaving Beck quite now. But, what was it, yesterday, day before, somebody came and anchored almost directly in front of us. So our anchor's about, from where he's sat at the moment, it's probably about, I don't know, 10 foot to his right. So, once we motor forward to pick up our anchor, he's just swinging around all over the place when the wind blows. So he's gonna possibly come in contact with us. Yeah, I mean, if we time it right, I think we can do it swiftly, whilst he's like where he is now. But as soon as the gust catches his bow on the port on his port side, it, he's fishtailing because he's a lightweight, thin keeled boat. They just do this all the time. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, we sit pretty steady, particularly with the mizzen up, and we stay pretty plumb straight. But so we could go now. Yeah. Quickly get it up and then drift out the way this way and we'll, we'll be alright. Okay, well Nicky forgot to press play but that was quite hairy. Um, we didn't actually come in contact but we came with a couple of feet and then just managed to get the anchor up before uh, he was, well yeah, he swung into us so that luckily the wind went the right side of the bow so we went the same way as him and did a big loop and then out. But yeah, heart, no harm, no foul, but it doesn't often get my heart rate up. <laughs> hey, stop it. There's no need for it, it's avoidable. Yeah, it's avoidable. That's the thing. That's pretty cool. Can I film this guy? Yeah. He's having a right blast. So after that bit of excitement, we are off to Salt Whistle Bay in my room. Oh, a bit of a squall. <laughs> another, another free wash. Check out my back. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I just switched into my. I just switched into my trunks. Um, yeah. Comes quick, doesn't it? it? Does. Here now we're sailing. just arrived um, on the leeward side of Meru and that's Union Island and we, we thought it was like a day sail away but you could just about swim over if you wanted to and um, the squalls it's just been squalling for ages. It's a bit wet didn't we? Yeah. And we actually got cold. I've yeah. got the first time I've worn a hoodie in months. Um, and we w we've missed Salt Whistle Bay because it was just full of charter cats and we're going to go and anchor in here which is saline. I think this is called saline boat isn't it? Yeah. But Nikki was really worried that she couldn't see a beach bar. <laughs> That's the sort of thing I worry about. So we're here. This is Saline Bay. Um, and there's a beach bar. I think that white one there, the boathouse, I think it's called. So we're going to head there for a quick beer, I think. These are our neighbours. Very good friend of ours. Shiny, classic yacht. Not short nationality, but it's beautiful. And then on the other side, we have our other friends. And, and this ridiculously beautiful, enormous catch with a really weird boom at the top. So this morning we've left uh, Saline Bay on Meru and we are heading round the corner, we're on the top north corner of the island and we're going to the Tobago Keys. So at the moment we're on the leading line in 
and we're just having to stick to this line to avoid all the rocks and shallows and, and reefs and we're going to try and anchor here um, and if not there's, a, there's one or two more I think I think this one's called World's End Reef so maybe we can go over there but I mean it's a bit dodgy getting in and out so it's our first time with um, reefs and things <laughs> it's a bit nerve wracking So I've got my rain catcher set up here and it goes down the pipe and it goes into the keg but the problem is that here you always get loads and loads and loads of wind before it then starts pissing down with rain ah! <laughs> like um, fog or mist doesn't it but it's I not it's just it. pure rain there's me down there watch I don't need any more water no. I don't have any food no because then there'll be absolute flocks of them You right there? Yeah, I'm stretching my back. Let's go and find the toddles. So we, we think that this island here, which I believe is called Petita Back, mm -hmm. is the one they stranded Johnny Depp on, on the first Pirates of the Caribbean film. With what, just a bottle of rum, wasn't it? And a one shot in his pistol. And over here is the turtle sanctuary. Yeah, there's, that bit of sand over there has a very small line of buoyed netting around it which stops predators getting in, stops boats going in. So it's Saturday the 27th of January. Yeah. How are you feeling this morning? Good. Yeah. A bit right. tired though. Yeah, we didn't sleep too well. Had um, the boat in front of us dragged anchor. So these guys are having to re-anchor. Um, they just dumped all their chain in a pile and then went to the bar. And then the winds picked up overnight. I couldn't let any more anchor chain to give them more space because the guy anchored too close behind us. Um, and it was a squall, <coughs> it was a squall like this that's coming, coming in now. What's that noise? It's him winching his knee up. Oh. And um, it, the squall funneled between the two islands <laughs> and combined with the, the current running through as well. So we ended up. Like, uh, under quite a lot of strain. Luckily our anchor held, but theirs didn't, and then at 4 in the morning, 3 in the morning or something there to move. Well, the sun's coming out a bit now, and we're going to go and find some turtles today, aren't we? You've seen this rainbow. <laughs> yeah, rainbow like, is incredible. Just, like, it's actually painted on the sky. That's <laughs> incredible. Wow.
So now we're anchored in Chatham Bay, about here. And we've just been ashore and met a load of people from the local bars and they all seem really nice. They managed to do us a plate of food at a bit of a reduced price. And there's a guy with a really basic bar right in the middle and he does some cheap beers and he's very friendly. But tomorrow we've got to go to Clifton. Is it Clifton? Yeah. But we've got to go there to clear out of um, uh, the Grenadines of St Vincent um, and then we can then go on clearing in Granada. <laughs> Done. Right, so we just walked up from the anchorage at Chatham Bay. Um, it's quite a steep climb all the way up. And the boat's down there. Um, and we are off to Clifton to try and get our clearance out of uh, St Vincent Grenadines. Um, and I think it's about a two miles sort of as the crow flies uh, trek, but it's super humid because it rained. Yeah. It rained last night a lot, and now the sun's just starting to warm everything up. But we've just seen our first uh, tree snake, yeah. which is a little bit of a. We've got bare ankles and everything else like that, so a little bit worried about snakes. Not sure if there's any poisonous ones, but anyway, onward. That's Tobago Keys, isn't it? Which way are we looking? You're right. So that's my route. Okay. That's the, yeah, that's the keys. the keys. Yeah, that's right. Nicky's got a plastic coat, but I haven't. It's looking pretty rough. <laughs> so what are we doing now? Well, we found this tree, which doesn't look much from in here, but from outside it's like a little tree house. Yeah. So it's given us quite a lot of protection from the rain. soggy on the way here, so... Yeah, it'd be nice to walk all the way back. I think we will, but um, maybe we'll wait for the worst of it to go through. Cool. Well, the sun's come out for our walk home, which is nice. Yeah, I'm slightly less damp than I was. Yeah, we're almost steaming, we were so wet. So we're doing an alternative route back, we're going through Ashton, aren't we? Yeah, so basically we'll have walked almost completely around the island. Clockwise. Mm. Yeah, it'd be nice. Wow, what a hill. Bit slippery, isn't it? Yeah, especially in bloody flip-flop. Well, it's been raining all day. Oh, look, mushrooms. Um, I, I, <laughs> I advise caution. I'm just going to stand here until I get one of these gusts. There's something out there brewing in the darkness, you can feel it. There's another one on its way. <laughs> there it is! Child! <laughs> here it comes. Fuck! And you can hear the gusts go through all the other boats, like you can hear it whistle through all the other masts. So as it comes, you can hear the whistling start up there somewhere and you know it's coming to you, and then we whistle, and it stops again, and you can hear it whistle as it goes beyond. Not like that. Not like that. Like howling in the rigging, whistling.
So it's Tuesday, is it Tuesday morning? Yeah. Um, on the, the 30th of January and we are making our trip from Union Island and we're heading straight for Granada and um, probably going to go somewhere down to the south near St George and then clear in there maybe tomorrow morning I think because we're going to be late. Um, it's been frustrating sailing so far. Um, yeah, no wind, but I can see mass winds coming from this squall behind me in a minute. The wind strength? 20. Okay. Oh my god. This is ridiculous, man. Just a bit wet. It's the first time sailing with this cover on for a while and it's really weird because it's, it's, it's just feels like you're not really moving, you're not really sailing. It's no wind at all, dead calm, but we're still doing like seven knots of sailing. It's been a long time since we've had it on. It's, it's quite nice, isn't it? What have you got? I think there's a piece of heart. That's it's good. Bread. The bread's in the oven. This is going to rise. And then I'll bake it. But I thought I'd do some pizza for lunch. Maybe some soup. Awesome. Boat pizza in a frying pan. It's the only way to do it. So you cook it on the hob and then you stick it up to the grill. Keep doing that for about three hours and then you get pizza. <laughs> So we're just sailing um, towards the top end of Granada, we can just make out through the sort of haze. And this area here um, is where there's been volcanic activity, but the red circle in the middle is actually a volcanic exclusion zone, there you go, submerged volcano. Um, and this bit is where there's been volcanic activity reported so we're gonna miss it but it looks like boats are going through it so they're quite brave. So those are the tops of the volcanic peaks that have newly formed. We haven't seen the sun for like a week. No. We were saying earlier we're feeling very sorry for anybody who booked their Caribbean holiday for this last fortnight. Oh it's so good of a proper cook on board. Very much. Turned out nice again. Welcome to the Caribbean. Oh. I haven't seen no dolphins, I haven't seen no bloody whales, I haven't seen no bloody sun for a week. I want my money back. So, solid 25 knots of wind, lots of squally rain. So, this is the approach to Granada. This is we're coming into St. George. You see two massive, great big uh, cruise liners in there, and I think the lagoon is like it's further south in the rain squall somewhere. 